Hey guys, Nick Everest here. Today I'm going to show you how I did this painting of Cozy Corner in Torquay uh, on plyboard. Uh, I'll go through the paints I used and the brushes and then let's get started. So the first thing you want to do guys, if you're painting on a wood panel like this one, is to make sure that you tape up the edges. Uh, this way, when you finish your painting, you can take the tape off and have beautiful clean edges and then you don't even need to frame it, which is a bonus. So the next thing I would do is block out all um, the different colours, the base colours that you're going to use with pencil. So I've just drawn the outline here. Um, that way you can get the base colour down nice and quick um, and then get into the details. So I'm going to start with the sky, so I'm just going to mix up some of the white, a little bit of the blue and some of this copper to give it that nice light blue grey sort of feel, add a little bit more white in there, there we go and I'm just going to basically cover all of this top section with this nice light blue. As we get a little closer to the bottom, I'm just going to add a little bit more white and then make the horizon line just a little bit lighter. Beautiful, and there's the first layer of the sky down. Um, I'm going to go back through and do this little bit. I'm just grabbing my slightly smaller brush now and I'm going to mix up some ocean colour. So I'm just going to grab a bit of this white and then a bit of this blue and a bit of this yellow. Perfect. So it's a little bit greener. Just add a little bit more white, brighten it up a bit. Perfect, and then I'm just going to add that in to this blue section of the water here. And now I'm going to grab my um, sand palette to do all of this side. So we might start with um, this area, which is sort of a pinky, goldy sand. So I'm going to do some white some bronze, a little bit of gold, sort of gives it that more pinky rather than yellowy look. There we go, and I'm gonna um, move that all in through here. Now this bit in here um, is actually silver, sort of a pinky silver. I'm going to mix some um, of this copper and a little bit of this um, red colour has come down. I'm just going to mix in a little bit of the black there, if you can see. A little bit more white. This is grey colour all the way um, through this section. We're just blocking out colours and then we can add the details. Once all this, all the, the canvas, all the plywood's covered up. Um, sort of this bit in through here and along here um, is a little, it's still that sort of grey colour, but it's with a little bit of copper in there as well. It's almost like a pinky colour. So I'm going to add this base colour and then we can add the more green tones in over the top. So if you can see, I'm just mixing up a bit of the copper and the black and the white. And it's sort of coming out this real pinky colour. If 
beautiful. And then um, along the other side, under here, is some more sand. Oh, some more sand. So I'm just going to add that in there. We'll get back in with a finer brush a bit later. And the very back here um, is a bit of land too, but it's a bit more yellower. So I'm just going to add some gold and bronze into that. And then This all the all your little bits and bobs can be fixed up fixed up a bit later. This is really just about getting the basic colour down. Awesome. And now for the um, for the grass and everything, I'm going to use my um, C palette because it's a bit more green. So I'm going to use some of the blue. Uh, I'll pop it up here. Some of the black some of the yellow and mix up a really dark green and then that's going to be all through here right, and that's sort of all this area here don't worry too much at this stage about being super precise uh, it all just sort of adds texture later on when you add the details so there we go and then all along the top here is also this nice dark colour. And then um, the land mass that's a bit further away. A little bit, I'm just adding a tiny bit of white to wash out that colour a little bit. There we go, and that's pretty much the base colours down. Just very quickly gonna add in another sky base coat. All right, and what I've also noticed is that um, this blue of the water is a bit too vibrant. So I'm just going to go back through, add a little bit more white. So I'm just making that C colour a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to wipe off a lot of my brush. Pick up just a little bit of the colour. I'm just going to sort of brush over it. Hoping that this leaves a little bit of the darker colour in behind, in underneath. Giving it a bit of texture. So now what we might start on um, is we might work on this reflection section where there's a lot of light bouncing off the sand and it's making it look very pretty um, like glitter really. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix some white with this um, grey that I mixed up earlier and we're just going to um, sort of trace out where the sort of sand, um, like when the water washes back through, it makes sort of sand clumps and then makes these little channels, which are quite beautiful. So I'm just gonna um, squiggle in some of these. So basically, all through this top section in here is, is beautiful, nice sand channels. And then all underneath here, it, it looks like little bits of glitter. Um, and that's just the sun reflecting off all the little pieces of sand. So basically I'm just doing like a little snake like that and then coming across and doing another little snake. And that sort of ends up looking, and if you leave the, the darker colour there, it looks, ends up looking a bit like um, where the, the channels have been formed on the sand. And so we'll go across here and add some more squiggles. Just like that. Beautiful. Now along here, just on the outside of the blue, if we add just a little bit of this lighter, the lighter grey. So it's not quite white, but it's quite close along here. And it sort of just surrounds the whole bit of blue. 
there a little and it actually goes all the way around this dark bit of sand as well so still just using that um, little bit of grey and a little bit of white and it goes all the way around the outside and once that's down a good little um, tip to do now is I've just put a bit of water on my brush and um, grab some more of that white and then I'm actually just going to gently sort of draw lines on a bit of an angle as sort of like what the sand the angle the sand would be on and it's just so mixing it so that there's sort of a, a um, like blending the dark sand with the lighter sand and so just doing that all the way around. Here, there are gonna be trees all the way along. So, and they actually are reflecting down in through this wet sand. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna make some of this gray a little bit darker and then I'm just going to add to wipe most of it off my brush a little bit more off and then just add little squiggles like this so basically just drawing lines and then almost make it look like an upside down Christmas tree <laughs> and that's going to be the reflections so when we do our trees up there we'll just have to make sure that they line up and you want each line there just to be a little gap in between and they, do, they don't have to be perfect um, and then in this section here in this arrow section here um, they're quite dark the reflections so I'll just keep a little bit more on my brush and I'm just gonna Add them in there, nice and dark, like that. Again, just squiggles all the way up. It's easy for me to envision what this looks like, but I promise if you just keep following what I do at the end, it'll make all make sense. So I'm just going to use my little brush and this darker grey to follow up the side of this water all the way. I've got a little bit too much water on my brush. All the way along here. Just like that. And then on the inside of that line, I'm gonna use the lighter color that I've mixed up. Just to go along. And then later we'll go again over this with the blue. It just helps thin out that grey line a little. And then we'll go back the white over on this side. There we go. So that's just more about the reflections of the water and the shadows. Awesome. So now we're going to go through um, the glitter or the where it's reflecting on the sand and we're going to add some um, marks in there so I'm just gonna I've got this old brush that's um, like a bit uh, dried out and I'm just gonna put some paint on so I'm just gonna put some paint on and then wipe it off and then just have that little bit of dried paint on there and then basically I'm just gonna add little dots like this to that this whole section now where I made the channels earlier I'm going to just try and only mainly go on where the channels are and still leave that dark section dark
we might leave the dots for now um, and then we're just going to get our small brush again and we're going to um, go back to this light grey that we've used. I'm just going to put some water on my brush and I've noticed that um, this colour on the outside has faded a little. So we're actually we're just going to go back over and lighten up all the way around again. Um, the sand here is actually quite um, glistening as well. So then obviously the, the sand, um, if it's a little bit wet, it's going to keep reflecting the sun. So I'm just putting, basically putting a little bit of the grey on and wiping a little bit off and then just using this motion and I'm doing it quite quickly but you can do it slowly just like that and just try and make that bit of sand a bit brighter as if it, the sun is sort of shining off it a little I'm going to just work my way all the way around again to have faded quite a lot since our last and basically this is just called especially if you're watering down the paint it's just called acrylic washing so the more layers you add so when you thin down the paint and then you wash the, the acrylic paint over then it just um, adds more each time you do it it just adds more and more depth to the painting well that's what I think anyway <laughs> Remember, I'm all self-taught, so I could be very wrong. And so, in amongst here, there's just some lighter sections here and there as well. And my channels seem to have um, faded a little, so I'm going to go back over them. Just adding those snake-like squiggles again. Just in through there like that. Now, because I'm... Um, if you wanted to keep the colour in the paint and not do this, the washes, that's when you use the um, acrylic retarder. But, um, so that keeps the vibrancy of the paint. Rather, the water tends to you know, wash it down quite a lot and then you lose, lose the vibrancy. But um, I actually don't mind that because I feel like then you can just keep going, adding layers and layers and layers. Um, and it just adds more depth to the painting. So yeah, I'm just continually just going around, adding a layer, getting some more paint on my brush, adding another layer. Really just trying to make um, the light bounce off this painting. And the whole time I'm just using the movement like this. Instead of drawing straight lines, um, you're sort of going in the movement that the water would have gone. The water would have rushed in that way. So now while we've got this um, palette up, I'm going to add some texture to the sand. So I'm just mixing up some more of that sand colour with the um, bronze, gold and white. And what, all I'm going to do is that exact same movement that I was doing um, for the reflection. So just this movement. I'm just going to do that all the way across the sand. So the colour I've got, I've mixed up is that slight, oh that's <laughs> way whiter. But it's slightly lighter than the base colour and I'm going to, I wanted a little bit more yellow. So I'm just adding a teeny bit more gold than I am. Um, bronze and I'm just going to go over the whole thing and it doesn't matter if you sort of leave a few clumps and things here and there because um, having some texture in the painting um, well is nice you don't want it just flat like a photo and I don't know if that's getting picked up on the camera but it's just making it look less flat sort of looking like there's little humps and bumps and things in through there
Um, and there is a little bit of seaweed and things about, so I'm going to make a um, little bit of a darker colour with a bit of the bronze, copper and black. I'm just going to mix that up with this brush but then change over to my teeny tiny brush and I'm going to add some details of some of the seaweed. There's like a old, um, uh, I imagine what a, a wharf or something and these are old logs that sort of lead in, out into the ocean. So I'm just going to draw them there and then you just we've just got some rocks and things so basically just adding some lines and a few um, squiggles and things just to make it look like you know that the beach has been lived on and especially over here there's a fair few bits of seaweed and debris and in it in along here as well and along with that um, I'm gonna mix up just a bit of a darker sand colour and just add some um, footprints along Ooh, and a bit of water on my brush Oops. just add some footprints along the sand now if you were adding all the footprints that are along there you'd be here for a long time so I'm just gently adding just some I'm really I'm just dotting all there along here where the sand sort of turns into the grassy area there is a bit of a, um, a lip so the darker sand and then some lighter sand and then that turns into the grassy area so I've just added some of the, the darker sand colour and then I'll add a little bit of this lighter sand colour and then that's where the the trees um, start and the same thing over here so I'm just gonna instead of it being such a harsh line which we watch which was what we wanted with the blocking out so I'm just um, softening it a bit by adding some of this darker sand color going up through into there there we are awesome so we might do uh, a bit of work on the foreground here. So I'm going to mix up some more of that um, grey colour. So I'm going to use some of the copper, a bit of the bronze and then some black. And then a bit of grey, a oh, bit of white, sorry, to try and make that grey colour. A bit more bronze. So um, to add a bit of texture and through this foreground, I'm just going to wipe off my brush um, and just pick up a little bit of the paint and then just sort of dry brush some texture onto this front section. So I'm going to start with this darker colour. And then I'm going to go into some of this lighter colour. Oops, wipe off some of that paint and just brush that on. So I'm not using very much paint at all. And I'm either just lightly sort of brushing over and then sometimes I'm blending in. Awesome. And then very last, I'm actually just going to go over and um, dot along the top of the surface. So really just trying to add, add more texture and I'm actually going to get a much darker colour. Wipe most of the paint off, pick a little bit up and just in certain sections, a bit more off, I'm just going to dot. 
And as you do it, if you sort of just drag along, so if I slow that down, it's sort of like dot and then scrape. This is why all my brushes get wrecked. <laughs> some texture into that foreground. I'm actually going to pick up some more of that lighter colour and pop a bit more copper through it and then go back through over this section dotting as well. So if you're going for a really realistic look um, you go through this process again and again and again and again and again and again and again until you do got the desired look you, you were wanting. Um, it depends sort of what you're going for, whether you still want it to look like a painting or whether you're wanting it more to look like the photograph. It's up to you, you can play with it a bit, but this is really just about adding texture in through this area. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing, but just not on such as big a scale back here in this section. So this is actually um, a hill that's coming down. So I'm just bringing the paint down as if it's coming down the hill a little bit. Just like that. We're going to add some trees and some shadows in there soon. So um, I've just got my feathered brush here. And I've mixed up some um, of the darker bronze, uh, darker sort of land colour, lighter and really light. And I'm actually just going to dip that all in there like that and mix it all up. And then I'm going to just come through and add some grass. I'm just trying to get multi, multiple colours on there. And then just come through and just gently add some grass in there. All right, now I'm going to go back through um, this front section. So I'm going to change palette back to my blue palette and go back through this front section with the dark green. So it's dried out a bit so I'm just going to remix up some black, blue and some yellow. And I'm just going to go back through here but it's, instead of sort of just squiggling I'm actually just going to um, use my brush like this and sort of just get some texture into that front bush. Awesome. Now I want to add some highlight, so I'm just going to get a little bit of white and then a little bit of the yellow and mix that up and then I'm going to just very gently where, you know, the light's going to be touching so you can do, um, you know, on the very tops and then sort of leave a little bits of black in between because that's obviously um, the tops come up and then go down back into the bush and so where they go down is dark because the sun can't hit that part and just add some of that through there there we go so in this um, grassy area there is a little bit of green so I'm just going to mix up some of that light green you can see there and then wipe my brush off a little and I'm just going to add just some touches of green so very softly, just sort of brush some green bits into the grass. So I really like the pink look of this painting, so I don't want to go too overboard, but just add a little bit like that. And then the same thing down on this hill back here is just that, just that touch of green in through there. Not heaps, just a little bit. Cool. Alright, 
the next bit, which is probably <laughs> um, not the scary bit, but yeah, is a bit more of a detail aspect of the painting, is we're going to add some of the trees. So, I'm going to just draw a line where the trees are going to go. So they're just going to follow the curve of the beach and basically go all the way around to about here. So if you just, so all of this is going to be in shadow. It's just a good, gives a good guide sort of where the trees are going to go. So they're going to go to about there and there's going to be another one there and then heaps more along here. Cool. So the first tree, so it's sort of has, giving up a little shadow there and sort of up the hill. And so I'm just going to draw the stem first and then the trees. So this is, um, so cozy corner in Torquay. They're beautiful, these trees. They have, um, they're like the shape of a Christmas tree. And then they've got their stems coming off it like that. So the way I like to do it is sort of just add the leaves in and then you can add um, the stems in a bit later and just make it nice and make it a bit taller. And it's sort of all in darkness. And there's a nice little bush there as well. So basically to get the details, I'm just poking the canvas more or less. Now, there are heaps of buildings and things back through here, but I think I'm gonna ignore them and just leave the focus on um, the natural aspects of the painting. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go along and add all the trees along here. So just by drawing the stem first, and then adding the shadow in. So the shadow is just going to go, if you if you draw it up the mountain a little bit, so if you actually make it go up, it makes it actually look like this is a hill. There we go. With the mountain, the grass, the grass area. It's definitely no mountain. And then just with the black, just dot in where the tree goes and all the leaves. this area a little bit too. So there's sort of a lot of shrubs and trees along this section. And then um, along the back in the distance there's um, a lot of trees as well but I'm just going to add a little bit of white to grey that dark out of it because it's to make, really make it obvious that that's further back. And I'm just going to do the same thing just add some texture by um, just dotting in there and just bring that all the way down to the sand line. Alrighty, not too bad. Um, one of the things I'm going to do while I'm using some of this black is define this grass sections a bit more. So I'm just going to add in some darker under roots to the grass so you know where the separate sort of tufts of grass are, um, just like that. So also now that we've got our blue palette, I'm going to do a bit more work on um, the water because there's not much happening there at the minute. So I'm going to use some of the blue, um, some of the black and then some white sort of get a bit of a darker colour and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the grass and it's just very lightly, so white went most of the paint off and then very lightly use the texture of the, the wood or the canvas to just brush over the area there. There 
go. And then I'm just going to grab my little brush, my teeny, teeny one. And I'm going to add some, some waves. So I'm just going to add a solid blue line across here. And then it's going to curve around. So it just follows the same shape that we drew at the start. And then again, just another one. Just in through there. There we go. And just And then to, um, as the, these waves are coming in, they're just little waves, but there's a bit of um, white at the tip of them. So I'm just going to get some white um, and try and get my, put a little water on my brush to thin out the white a little bit. And then we're just going to run it along the top of a couple of these waves. Whoop. Then we're just going to run it along. While I've got this white, I'm going to go over my little snakes um, that I did earlier just to really brighten them up again. Um, and also because I've got the little brush, so it doesn't go the whole way across. Um, so if you just go sort of on the outside of the snakes and sort of blend it, and it kind of makes them look like mounds. I'm just going to sort of brighten in here as well. So just lots of layers over and over. Um, the darker line we drew around before, I'm going to add another lighter white line around that. And then at the edge of the blue, I'm going to add a white line too, and all the way up the side, as if that there's some waves going in there. And at the top of these ones. There we go, and all the way up. And just around the edges again, just with my little brush this time, I'm just going to add some. Still doing the same movement. Put a little bit of water on the brush. And I'm just going to do the same. But this time, because I'm using my little one, I can actually put some streaks through um, the shadows as well. You really want that to look like the light's bouncing off it. We're just sort of added, add, adding the sort of finishing touches now, so it's a bit of playing around. But I really want to lighten up in here again, so I'm going to grab one of my um, little brushes and just make some of that, that gold, but make it really light. And then I'm just going to bring that white all through here, just lightening up that sand. Just like that exact same movement again. Just making that sand through there, just that little bit lighter. I might grab just actually some white. So I've just mixed up the gold and the white to make that sandy color. Then I might just actually grab some white and just bring that through there too. Just lightening all of that up. And over here as well. Perfect. Now in here, it's still quite a harsh line, so I'm going to use some of that bronze and that um, lighter colour just to drag that through there like that so it's not so harsh. Now I'm going to um, do a little bit on the sky now. So I'm pretty happy with the sky colour. Now I'm just going to add some clouds, which is always fun. So I'm going to pretty much um, stick to what the picture that I'm copying off is. And there's a cloud that comes through there and then some little ones here. So I've just got my uh, smallest brush and I'm just going to add in 
So I'm purely just using white at the minute, but I'm letting it sort of blend in with the background a little. And I'm just sort of either pressing down and then sweeping across like that. And that comes out into there. And then we've got some clouds over here. And really, my technique for clouds is more or less just dry brush scribbling. So it means you don't have a whole heap of paint on your brush. And your brush, you just, if, even if it starts a little bit wet, it's not um, really wet and just, it's just every, if it's too wet then it just sort of blends everything in. Just make it a little bit wispy. And there's some little ones under here. Cool, so that's basically the under layer of the, the clouds. And then I'm just gonna go back over with a bit more solid white, so a bit more on my brush, and just add some texture. So I sort of dab, and then just sweep and then dab. going over each time getting a, a little bit more solid. Awesome, so I'm going to grab, um, actually grab my medium sized brush and with this white I really, I'm going to really water it down and then I'm, I'm going to make all the way up to those white clouds quite light. I'm sort of just feathering across to try and blend that in. So very lightly and just that movement, just like that. So I'm just going to add in a tree um, in here at the front because it's really cute. Um, and it's in the original photo too. So I'll just add that with my um, tiny brush and I actually am going to add the little branches all the way along up here. to see those branches a little bit so I'm not going to make it super heavy. And I think I will. I did. The, I have done this, um, a painting of this angle or this photo before because I just love this, um, the colours in this painting. But I am actually going to add a tree in the middle here as well. I just think that it really centres the painting and makes it look really nice. scary adding a piece like this so late in the painting because if it looks no good there's not a hell of a lot you can do but I think this will really make the painting look good so I'm just adding branch thin little branches out like this and then it doesn't really have lots down low it just have a lot of little thin ones we're all connecting Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna add the little leaves in here. There we are. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I just noticed this is what happens. You think you finish and then you've got a couple more things to do. I'm just gonna um Mix up some darker sand colour with the gold, a little bit of black and the bronze. And 
I'm just um, I'm just gonna add in some little texture along here because it's just looking a bit boring. And down in through there. There we go. And lucky last thing is um, there is some glistening on the water behind here. So I'm just going to grab my tiny little brush and I'm just going to add some of those beautiful um, white flecks from the, that the water is giving up from the sun. And I think that's about done. Just got to add my signature along here. I do with Posca pen and then I'm pretty happy and all finished you can see that focuses all the detail of all those dots and that little tree the trees in the background that's it voila Once you've finished your painting, don't forget to take the tape off the side and pop a signature in the corner. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and making your own piece. If you did, please like and comment and share with your friends. I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. Catch you soon.